Welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. Every Tuesday, we feature someone from the world of athletics to share a tech tip. We'll be right back with today's guest. But first, let's give a shout out to our podcast partners, the global community of women in high school sports, and we coach. These are two great organizations that you should be a part of. So uh, we'll be right back with tech tips. But first, let's hear from our podcast sponsors. We want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive for their support of Tech Tuesday. Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards not only generate income for your department, but they also create the ultimate game day experience for your athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com to schedule a live web demo and see their tables and boards in action. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com and see exactly what their fantastic products can do for you. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. We also want to say thanks to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. If you're looking for a really cool way to display your school's record boards along with your school's Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Their interactive touchscreen video consoles and their library of templates will help you recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com and let them help you showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments. That's vitalsignswalloffame.com. We also want to thank Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com, and they're going to show you how to set up and sell tickets online. They'll show you how to scan the attendees that come to your games and collect your revenue. And every step of the way, you'll have a dedicated client success manager that's providing hands-on support. That's every step of the way. Go to hometownticketing.com. They'll also show you how to sell tickets for things like school dances, your school plays and concerts, even graduation. That's hometownticketing.com. Simple and easy online ticketing. We also want to say thanks to Snap Mobile. Go to onsnap.com, that's onsnap.com, and check out the entire Snap platform. Snap Raise is their fundraising platform that our coaches have used with great success. They even have an option where you can receive your funding before you actually start your fundraiser. Snap Spend is their secure money management system. Snap Store allows you to order custom spirit wear and team wear for your program. Snap Connect is their multilingual family engagement platform. And Snap Manage, they'll help you set up an entire website for your athletic department. You can find it all uh, at uh, onsnap.com. That's onsnap.com, part of the Snap Raise program. Check them out today. We also want to thank Gipper. Gipper is the way that athletic directors and coaches can create world-class marketing content for their school's social media channels. You can do it in seconds on any device, and you don't need any design experience. Go to gipper.com, tell them you heard about it on our podcast, and use our code ADPOD10, that's ADPOD10, and get 10% off. Gipper.com. Start creating custom branded content for your school's social media channels. Gipper.com. We also want to say thanks to Huddle. Go to Huddle.com. Huddle is how the world sees sports. Over 200,000 teams use Huddle to help their athletes play better. Huddle has the tools to help your teams and your athletes improve. And if you go to Huddle.com, you're going to find a professional grade solution for the challenges that you and your coaches face every day. At Huddle, we believe in sports and teams believe in Huddle. Join the 6 million users and see how your school can become a Huddle school. Go to huddle.com for more information. We also want to say thanks to Final Forms. Go to finalforms.com slash Jake to get started with their platform. 
Final forms can help your stakeholders, your parents with things like mobile accessibility. They have reminders uh, about policies, about physicals, and all the forms that come with athletics. Final forms can help your coaches with attendance and communication. And for you as an athletic director, final forms can help with eligibility, with rosters, and all the reports that come across your desk. You know, it's time that you talk to a team that's walked in your shoes. To take the next steps, go to finalforms.com slash Jake and get started with Final Forms. And we want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic surveys are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack also connects you with that squeaky wheel parent and gives them an opportunity to vent and very often share a small issue with you that you can address and keep it from turning into a big issue because you didn't know about it because you hadn't done a survey. We use surveys at my school for just about everything, for coaches, for teachers, uh, for parents. And the information that came back is almost always positive. But like I said, that squeaky wheel parent can give you an opportunity to improve your program. If you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Talk to the folks at athleticsurveys.com or email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. Take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes and get in touch with Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Tech Tips on the Educational AD Podcast. Uh, our regular guest um, couldn't make it today, so uh, you're going to get uh, Jake Von Scheer. And the tech tip that I'm going to offer is... How many of you have ever thought about publishing your own book? Well, as I like to say, it's so easy, even I can do it. Uh, the Educational AD Podcast has already led to three published books, uh, two of them number one new releases on uh, Amazon. And I'm going to share today how easy it is for you to um, get your book published. Um, when Mike Elson the uh, executive director for the Tennessee uh, Athletic Directors Association suggested to me, he said, Jake, you know, this podcast, uh, the toolbox ideas, they'd make a great book. I said, do you really think so? And um, I went home and I literally Googled, how do you publish a book? And there were several self-publishing platforms uh, that were recommended and I ended up choosing uh, what's called the Amazon Kindle publishing platform. Um, it's uh, totally free uh, if you have a uh, Amazon uh, Prime account. And uh, I, I looked at several options, and this one just appealed to me. It just, again, it, it was very easy to use. It's linked directly with Amazon. So as far as getting your book up uh, and out there and uh, so the public can can check it out. It just seemed a natural connection. Um, so what you do is um, you go to um, Amazon Kindle Publishing and create an account. It's 100% free. And then you literally just step-by-step step follow their instructions. You know, they'll ask you basic questions like, you know, you know, what's your name? What's the author of the book going to be? Um what category is it going to fall in? Is it fiction? Is it nonfiction? You know, the books that uh, that I've published, you know, the Athletic Director Toolbox books, along with uh, Dan Como's The Mentoring Minute, uh, which I was the editor, um, you know, th those are both nonfiction books. And when you select nonfiction, uh, Amazon provides you with additional categories that you can fine tune who's going to see your book and how it's going to appeal to them. So, you know, is it educational? Is it technical? Um, if it's in education, is it, you know, math? Is it science? Is it athletics and sports? So they really let you hone in uh, to help find your audience once your book gets published. Um, the There's additional questions. Um, you know, you've probably seen that, um, you know, IBSN number at the front of books. 
they assign you a number at your request. And again, it's totally free. Um, they'll um, um, ask you, uh, is it going to be, um, you know, what size do you want your book? Um, you know, the dimensions of it, you know, do you want a big book? Do you want something smaller? Um, how many pages is going to be in your book? And this is all stuff that you can do before you even have your manuscript uh, ready to upload. They even provide you with a template uh, so that when you download the template, again, it's all free. Um, here's the cover page. Here's the page one. Here's the table of contents. Here's the dedication. Um, you can set it up on uh, chapter by chapter. It's literally typing in a Word document, but it's formatted um, as your book template. And when you're all done, again, you can edit this as many times as you want to. Uh, when you are all done, when you've proofed it, when you've spell checked it, when you've looked at the formatting, when you've uploaded any pictures or graphs or anything that you want in your book, you click on the upload and boom, it's in your Amazon Kindle publishing platform. And when you're ready, you hit that submit button and it takes um, anywhere from 48 to 72 hours for Amazon to review and approve your book and boom, it's out there on amazon.com. You can set the price uh, of, of what you want to charge for your book. Uh, you can create uh, just a paperback copy or a Kindle copy. You know, I did both for my books. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, people like Kindles and, um, you know, we've actually sold a few Kindles. Um, let's talk about pricing. Um, you know, the, the least important thing about your book. Again, the platform is 100% free. Uh, there, there's a cover designer uh, where you click on, you know, the fonts, the colors, the arrangement. It's all free. Now, once you've got your book ready to publish, you're going to choose your um, how much it's going to cost. My goal was to get the books out into everybody's hands uh, as quickly as possible. And I felt that $9.99 was a reasonable price for the information that we were providing. Uh, periodically throughout the year, I'll lower the price and it, it's only $5.99 or $6.99. But here's how it works pricing wise. Um, for my books, it costs Amazon. They say that their cost to print it and package it is about $2.20 for each book. That's the cost. That's what it costs them. My royalty, you hear about authors getting royalties. Um, my royalty, uh, I, I don't want to mistake this, but I think it's 40% of the remaining uh, profit. So um, that that works out to me for the athletic director's toolbox, about $3.70 for each book that gets purchased at full price. Now, many of you have bought my books online. Thank you for that. Uh, I've also given away a, a ton of books. I've, I've sold them at cost uh, at conferences. You know, uh, again, it's it's nice to see that royalty check uh, at the end of each month. But, uh, you know, I, I joke, you know, for every book I sell, you know, that's a beer. Uh, a couple of days ago, I, I made two beers. So, um you can, you know, turn your money over to a charity. You can, you know, help it fund your uh, child's uh, education. Uh, if you're like me as a retired AD, you know, every dollar is uh, precious, but uh, you're not going to get rich. But what I've heard from other authors uh, that have used, you know, let's say publishing houses and things like that, is that profit percentage is among the highest in the publishing business. So again, we're not writing these money, writing these books to make money. But uh, again, it, it, it's a nice little thank you for the work that goes into your book. So um, again, Amazon Kindle Publishing. Um, if you'd like me to walk you through it, I'd be more than happy to. But again, it's, it's very, very easy to use. Here's the other thing that I found after I did my first book. Uh, we also upload our episodes onto YouTube and YouTube has a feature, once you have uploaded a video, um, they have a feature where you can um, get YouTube to download, basically, 
the the content, the text. Um, you know, our interviews, obviously, I'm talking to someone, they're talking to me. Well, that all gets recorded, and that's part of the uploaded episode. I can click on, I believe it's called the um, edit and transcribe uh, feature, and they will create within YouTube a Word document that I can then copy and then paste into the book template. And that entire transcript is magically turned into uh, text. Now I have to go back and edit that text because it copies everything. It copies every, uh, every repeated word, anything that you wouldn't want in your final book form, you have to go back and edit it, but it's so, so easy to use. So that's the tech tip for today. Um, Amazon Kindle Publishing, publish your book. And the YouTube transcription feature makes it very easy to take that content and just turn it into uh, text. You don't have to uh, play your audio back, pause the audio, type out what you think you heard, play it again, make sure you did type it out correctly. It's simply right there for you, copy and paste. So uh, if you have questions, please uh, email me at jakestouchdown at gmail.com. If you'd like to be on the podcast and you've got something to contribute to our audience, you know, let me know. Uh, thanks again for listening. We'll see you next week on Tech Tips and just about every day on the Educational AD Podcast. Thanks a lot. Hey, before we go, we want to uh, give a shout out to our podcast partners, We Coach and the Global Community of Women in High School Sports. We also want to say thanks to our sponsors, uh, Vital Signs Wall of Fame, Sideline Interactive, Hometown Ticketing, Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack, Final Forms, Gipper, Huddle, and Snap Mobile. Every single one of these sponsors can do a great job for you. And every single one of these sponsors is a company that I have used as a coach or as an AD, with one exception, Hometown Ticketing. The only reason I didn't use Hometown is because I retired just as they were coming into vogue. But I've talked to hundreds of athletic directors we think hometown ticketing is the best and all of our sponsors are the best. One more time, sideline interactive vital signs, wall of fame, athletic surveys by life track, snap mobile, gipper, gipper huddle and final forms. Thanks again for listening to tech tips. Good luck with your book. And we'll see you next time on tech Tuesday on the educational AD podcast.